Adrenonitis suppurativa is a chronic condition and at its core, it's really an inflammatory reaction. A lot of people think of it as clogged pores or inflamed hair follicles, but it's a little bit more than that. With HS and the hair follicles, we believe they get blocked or inflamed. Once that happens, they gradually expand and that's what contributes to the painful tenderness that's associated with them. They often fill with fluid and start to drain to the surface. There can be an odor associated with it that can also contribute to a lot of frustration along with the bandage changes that go with it because there's always this chronic element of wound care that we see with it. They're painful, sore. They can actually affect our mobility or movement because they're in those areas of skin where the skin folds together and sometimes it'll affect our day-to-day -day actions as well. Usually it starts after puberty and early adulthood and really affects us in our folds of skin. The most common areas would be under the arms, the fold between the hip and the groin, between the buttocks, but we also can see it under the breasts. I've had patients with neck involvement, even behind that fold of skin behind the ear, behind the knees. These are deep-seated, painful nodules, and there's a lot of inflammation under the skin that can be very uncomfortable for our patients. We know there's a genetic component, as there can be family members that are also associated with it. We find that there can be a hormonal element to it because we do know that the onset is after puberty or in young adulthood. There can even be a microbial element, bacteria that could be impacting the skin or changes in the bioflora of the skin that could impact its development. And then of course that inflammatory component because ultimately as long as those pores get blocked or clogged, it's the inflammation, the swelling that develops in those nodules and that's when people really get uncomfortable. HS is not considered a contagious condition, primarily because it's, even though there can be a bacterial component, it's not really contagious in that a direct cause for a bacteria has not been found. It's not that there's one bacteria that's been linked to this condition. We find that it's really just our body's inflammatory reaction to the presence of bacteria in our skin that might be playing a role, but that's not something you could give to somebody else. This is your own individual reaction to it. There's not a one-size-fits-all approach to HS. We really have to tailor individual therapeutic interventions based on what patients need and what time course they're presenting in. But knowing that we have so many great tools at our disposal is the most important thing to remember.